Hey guys, Jake here. Welcome back to the farm. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. If, if you're not subscribing yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like this video. It helps us out as we grow this channel and you'll get future updates on everything we're doing here on the farm. As you can see behind me, we made a little DIY leaf collection system because I wasn't happy with the size of the bagger that the Gravely came with. Um, so let me show you what we did here. All right, as you can see here, we've Frankensteined it a little bit. So we're using the existing power head that came with the bagging system. Connected that to eight inch duct work using duct tape because I couldn't find any clamps big enough. And then we come up here and this is the hose here that came with the system. Going into the collection system here, made out of two by fours, uh, mesh netting, and inside filter fabric. And that is all set on the dump cart that I got from Tractor Supply. All right, so here is the inside of the cart. You can see the hose comes in. The roof is plywood to add a little structural stability. And as you can see, it works. So for the back door here, I just used a piece of plywood, hinged it on here. So you can see for the lock, uh, just a typical gate lock, drilled a little hole here down into the plastic for it to lock in place. Hold that nice and tight. I know one thing you're thinking after watching the last video is, am I getting enough airflow coming through here? So I'll open this up, turn it on, and uh, show you what all comes out. As you can see from everything that just went flying at you, I'm getting plenty of airflow through here. The only flaw in the system is still the power head. I can only fit so much through this little opening and it just doesn't make sense why they made it so small and so steep up. Everything just gets clogged up in there.
not bad. Um, so this is everything that was over there, obviously. The fabric here is important to keep the smaller leaves from blowing out, but you want to make sure you're not using like a tarp or something because then you won't get any airflow out of the box. And that's what gets stuff to come in through the hose is airflow out, obviously. So let's go dump it. So the nice thing about a dump cart is it dumps. Um, this might be a little top heavy. We'll see how it goes here. I'm gonna drive away. So obviously I didn't get everything out, um, just the way the dump cart works. When I was hauling gravel in my previous videos, you probably also saw that I didn't get everything out. So just design of the cart, how this works, how the lip works, everything like that, so. So this was a quick version that I just built very, you know, no plans, just kind of winging it. Uh, if I had to change anything, I would make this probably a foot shorter. It's really top heavy. Um, I have some spare weights for my old John Deere that I'm going to stick down on the wheels um, just for some added stability down there. Another thing, as you saw, was there still gets some left down in the back, so maybe putting a screen down there or a tarp down at the bottom so I can just easily lift everything out. That's pretty easy. Uh, but overall, works great. Overall though, I'm pretty pleased with this. It's quadrupled my capacity from what the Gravely bags do so I can mow longer without having to dump it. Um, I'm getting plenty of flow through the pipe here. Haven't had any clogging of that yet but I am going on a higher setting than I was in the last video, um, as well as I just mowed, so I'm not getting grass along with it. Uh, so it's a little lighter just to shoot the leaves up the hose. So there you go, guys. Here's an easy DIY solution to leaf cleanup with, for me, stuff I had around the house. The only thing I had to buy was the eight inch ductwork and the hinges. Everything else I had laying around, so that worked for me. If you have to buy the things, it's really not that expensive. The only real expense here is the cart. I don't remember how much that was. Um, I think the cart was like 150 or 200 bucks, something like that. So that's going to be your basic, biggest expense here uh, since the cost of plywood went down, thankfully. But yeah, let me know what you think about it down in the comments. So that'll do it for this video. Um, again, if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out as we're growing this channel. And make sure you subscribe for future updates, and we'll see you on the farm next time.